polygons. In this module, you will learn about the topic Introduction to Polygons and its classification and some properties related to Polygon. Have you heard about a polygon? A polygon is a simple closed figure with at least three sides and angles. They are named and classified according to the number of sides and angles. Although there are many types of polygons, if you had to describe a polygon in just two words, you might say it as a plain figure. A polygon has only width and height, but no depth, as it is a plain flat with two-dimensional shape. It is composed of only straight lines and is a closed figure. Let us see the classification of polygons in this table. We see that when number of sides or vertices is equal to 3, it is named as triangle. When number of sides or vertices is equal to 4, it is named as quadrilateral. For 5, it is named as pentagon. For 6, it is named as hexagon and so on. For n number of sides or vertices, it is named as n-gon. Now, the region lying in the inside portion of polygon with its boundary is called the interior of polygon, while the region lying outside the polygon is called the exterior of polygon. Let us know more about the parts and types of polygon in details. A diagonal of a polygon is a segment that joins two non-consecutive vertices. Let us see an example of it. In this first polygon, PQRS, let's join the two non-consecutive vertices. Let's start with vertex P, as vertex Q and vertex S are consecutive to vertex P. Only vertex R is a non-consecutive to vertex P. Therefore, Join PR for vertex Q, vertex P and vertex R are the consecutive while vertex S is non-consecutive. Therefore, join QS. Similarly, for vertex R and vertex S, their non-consecutive vertex are vertex P and vertex Q respectively, which are already joined. Therefore, line segment PR and QS are called the diagonal of the polygon PQRS. Similarly, let's draw diagonals for the other figures too. Here are some other polygons. Can you draw diagonals for each? Let us do it. You will notice that for some polygons, their diagonal lies in exterior of the polygon, while other in its interior. On the basis of these polygons can be classified as convex and concave. A convex polygon is a polygon in which all its diagonal lies in the interior region of the polygon. Examples While a concave polygon is a polygon in which at least one or more of its diagonal lies in the exterior region of the polygon. Examples Now compare these two polygons. Can you find any difference between them? Yes, the length of the sides and angles are different in the first polygon, while in the second, they are equal. On basis of this polygons can be classified as regular and irregular. A regular polygon is a polygon in which all the sides and all the angles are equal. For example, an equilateral triangle, a square, etc. are regular polygons. Although a rectangle has equal angles and a rhombus has equal sides, yet these are not regular polygons. As for regular polygon, all of its angles should be equal and all its sides need to be of same length. That is why we can say that a regular polygon is both equiangular and equilateral. While an irregular polygon is a polygon which is not regular. Example. Here the sides and angles of a polygon are not equal. Let us now learn angle sum property of a polygon. 
you have already learned that the sum of the measure of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. To begin with, a polygon with four or more sides, draw all the diagonals possible from one vertex of the polygon. Then, you will see it is divided into several non-overlapping triangles. Now, interior angle sum of this polygon can be found by multiplying the number of triangles by 180 degrees. Let us do it for square, rectangle and pentagon. We get the sum of measure of angles of square and rectangle is 2 multiplied by 180 equal to 360 degrees. And for pentagon is 3 multiplied by 180 equal to 540 degrees. By calculating for some more polygons, it is found that the number of triangles is always 2 less than the number of sides. Therefore, a formula can be derived as the sum of angles of a polygon is equal to n minus 2 multiplied by 180, where n is the total number of sides of a polygon. So, a polygon with number of side equal to 10, the sum of its interior angles would be 10 minus 2 multiplied by 180, that is 1440 degrees. Now, as we are familiar with the interior angles of a polygon, let us learn about the exterior angles of polygon and its sum. Draw a pentagon A, B, C, D, E. Mark the exterior angles as angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4 and angle 5. If you know the interior angles of the polygons, we can find its exterior by subtracting it from 180. As you can see here, it forms a linear pair. Therefore, measure angle 1 is equal to 180 minus measure angle B. Similarly, Measure angle 2, 3, 4 and 5 can be calculated. Now cut the angles one by one and join them to find the sum of all the exterior angles. We see that it makes a complete turn. Therefore, their sum is equal to 360 degrees. If we check for other polygons too, you will notice that the sum of the exterior angles remains the same as 360 degrees. Therefore, the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of any polygon is always equal to 360 degrees. Let us revise all that we learnt in this module on polygons.